Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today back to our Gatling series. Today we are going to talk about one very quick a concept in Gatling that how to get the data from CSV file, like how to use a feeder. Feeder means the test data feeder because uh, so far what we have seen that we have hard coded the values. If you really want to get the data from the CSV file, what test data and everything that you have to do it. So you have to maintain one CSV file over here. So what I'm going to do that uh, under my resources, I'm going to create one data a directory. So simple go to create a directory folder. Let's see data folder. I'm giving this name and under this particular data folder. I'm going to create a file over here. So the file name, let's see, I'm simple writing get user dot <clears throat> CSV file that I'm going to create. And here I'm going to maintain two columns. One is let's see for the user ID and one is for the name. These are the two columns that I'm going to maintain and the API that I'm going to use is uh, let's do one thing right simple go to this particular website or go as dot go dot in and uh, this is the API that we can use. Maybe we can use get API and the user ID that we are passing. We will pass from the okay from the CSV file. So when you call this particular API Okay, from the postman or uh, from here also you can simply call it from the rest console. Let's see where user is equal to one, two, three, or maybe user equal to uh, let's see two, and then you send the request. So you are getting this particular request. So for user ID equal to two, the name is uh, something Patricia, something like this that we are getting. So I'm just going to copy this Patricia and user ID equal to two, maintain over here. So ID is equal to two, and uh, Patricia so simple. Let me just Like this Oops, so let's do one thing. Let me check what kind of users that we have So we have user ID equal to two and directly we have six over here and six and nine So I'll check with six and nine. So I simple write a slash a six for six. We have this Okay, Chandira Kanyar VM something like this. I'll do one thing. I just copy this and then I'll paste it over here Okay, paste here. So this is the user name that I'm going to use it. So ID equal to six and and then we will take one more. So let's see if, uh, what else we have. So we can simply send the request from here. So Chandria we have taken and we can take ID equal to nine and the name is equal to this. So I'll just copy this entire stuff from here to here so that I can copy this actually guys. So six we have already taken now. I'm going to take this one uh, Devi said he's something like this ID equal to nine So ID equal to nine and this so user ID I'll be passing along with the URL and the name we will be uh, Using for the validation the same ID is associated with this name or not So this is a CSV file guys that is ready now Now what I'm going to do that I'm going to create a simulation class simple create a class let's see this is my uh, data uh, feeder class with a csv that i'm going to use and then create a class over here and then simple which will extends a simulation class okay and um, and this simulation guys we have to import so we have to import three important imports over here so let me just quickly do that okay after that i'm going to create my uh, HTTP configuration. So I simply write one HTTP uh, uh, configuration, which is equal to HTTP dot the base URL. The base URL will be this that I'm going to pick it from here. You can see this. This is the base URL. Go res dot go dot in. And after that, do you have any header? Yes, we have that. So simple write a header, and then as a header, as I told you earlier, guys, you have to log in. And you have to create the authentication over here. So I simple. This is my authentication a header value and this is a key that we have to pass. So uh, authorization when you create the username password on this particular when you register over here on this website, you will get your own authentication over here. So copy this bearer token and then paste it over here. So this is the token that we have used after that. What we have to do, we have to create one more variable. That is called let's see I'm going to create CSV feeder variable which is equal to and then there is a method CSV method over here and this guy says that okay fine where exactly the CSV file is available. See this is so simple if I simple say that okay it's available under my SRC test uh, resources. 
under data folder and then the file name is uh, get user dot get user dot csv is the file name you can see this is the same csv file that we are using it and then it's saying that what kind of uh, data feeder that you want to use so there are three four important methods random then we have a circular then we have a queue and then we have shuffle so these are the four options you can use it so i'm going to use circular circular means let's see if i'm going to hit my request uh, three times or four times let's see only two times so what will happen first time this guy will be executed then this set will be executed and then this guy will be executed so let's see i have written uh five times i want to execute this particular uh, request over here so this is first time second time third time so again it will go to the third and fourth like that so if i'm writing let's see 10 times so what will happen this is first this is second this is third then again fourth five six then again seven eight nine and then ten so it will do in the circular motion like that if you write a shuffle shuffle means a simple shuffle it and then get the data from there right and then random means randomly pick any row and then get it from there and circular means circular motion like that you can do that so there are four options are available okay with the csp feeder over here that we have used it so when the moment you write dot you will get all other options circular random you can select uh, q also q means one by one from the given uh, csv queue it will pick one by one and then shuffle means a simple shuffle the data and then pick it from there so let's say i'm using the circular one and then you can try other options later on and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to define a method let's see method name is get a user method that i'm going to define and I want to repeat this particular cycle, repeat this particular uh, request for let's see uh, seven times like that, okay? And then I simply use that, uh, what is your feeder? So there is a method guys, feed method is available and your feeder name is whatever the feeder is there. So you have to write my feeder name is CSV feeder over here. And that's it, after that, the things will remain same. Execute what your uh, HTTP, what is your request name? I simply write get, uh, right? This is a single user that we are going to uh, check. After that, what kind of API that you have? This is a get call. And uh, inside the get call, that is, I'm going to use it like this, let's say two. So public users, I'm going to use it. And then as a user ID, what you have to do, you have to pick this column from the CSV. So column name is user ID. So what you have to do guys, you simply write a dollar put these two curly braces and then user ID, whatever the column name. So this is how this user ID will be mapped with over here with this particular CSV feeder. And this is a column name that we have to pass. Okay, after that, uh, what do you want to check? So I really want to check that first of all, JSON path, that inside my JSON path, because when you uh, send this request with the user two or whatever, I'm getting data dot name. I want to check that okay, Patricia is available or not, or something like this. So I simply write uh, from the JSON path, as that we have already seen in the previous example in the previous video, that dollar dot data uh, dot a name that I'm going to pick. It means to go to the data first parent and go to its child's name. And whatever you are getting for this particular user ID, so I'm passing the user ID is equal to two, where Patricia is available. So I have to validate that. I simple write dot, right? I simple write is it should be equal to what? It should be equal to, I simple write the dollar curly braces and whatever, sorry, not Patricia, the name, the name, the column name is name is over here. So for the second request, Patricia will be picked for six, uh, Chandira will be picked and for nine, Devi Sethi will be picked over here like that, okay? And uh, you want to check something else, so you can simply write a check a status also. So I'm going to write a status dot, uh, I'll be writing in, and then either it could give you 200 or it could give you 304 redirection. So both are same actually, because 304 means that if the data is already available in the cache, you pick it from there. So it might give you 304 or 200 both. So I'm writing it like this, and that's it. And when you, um, uh, do this i'm gonna put a pause between each and every request so i'm gonna pause for let's see 
uh, two seconds of pause I'm writing it so this is the method that I have created and uh, after that what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, create my scenario which is is equal to now see Gatling is so easy guys the scenario name is let's see I simple write that is a CSV a feeder a test something like this I'm going to write and dot execute which method I simple write get a user method I want to call this particular request from here once your scenario is ready then we need to set up this particular scenario and then we need to inject the load the load is at once user only once at a time right now we are not using any load testing as of now and then simple write dot protocols what is your HTTP configuration you have to use it and that's it my scenario is ready and the data will be picked from this particular CSV in the circular motion so let's see seven times it will be executed it means the data we have only three rows so first second third then again fourth fifth sixth and again seven in the circular mode so let's see it is working or not so I'm going to run my engine right click on it go to run engine okay this time it's picking yep so data feeder CSV number three so I simply write three over here and then simply write test CSV and see seven times request should be called with a different set of data and every request we are giving the pause of two seconds 2000 milliseconds okay this is done no failure awesome and you can see that okay seven request count and if you really want to see the logs you can check it over here the complete matrix that we are getting it and uh, you can see the request available over here that what kind of request and everything that we have executed you can see this is the authentication token that we have used and for every csv data seven request this is the last request actually they it got executed right so like this you can see the logs guys now let's see the report <clears throat> so i'll directly go to the report section so copy this entire stuff from here this is your index.html and then open in a new tab awesome there are seven requests are available and you can see the details get single a user request it got executed seven times with different set of data actually data obviously it won't show it over here directly guys but you can see seven requests got executed with different set of data okay so you can simply see request count seven I hope you can uh, no it is data you can print it but uh, that's okay it's not showing you the exact id and the name in the console but that's okay but it got executed seven times with different set of data absolutely fine and there are no errors okay so likewise guys you can this is the circular motion circular way if you really want to do in the random way that also you can do that it means randomly data will be picked so if you really want to run with random so you can simply run the same engine once again and uh, let's pick the engine that is a data feeder th number three and let's run it so now the data will be picked randomly okay so what you can do for your practice point of view you can create one post call you can add the data add user data and then see the okay data is getting created with the data that you are passing from the csv file that also you can do that to just to validate that so you can see this is absolutely working fine the result is also coming over here without any problem so I can just pick up the result from here seven requests once again without any problem okay so this is random then uh, they have a queue that also you can use it so I'm not going to run it you can check it later guys by your own and then then we have this a shuffle this shuffle also you can do that so there are four types that I have told you I simply write it for your notes point of view guys one is as I told you that is uh, a circular a shuffle and then we have a random okay so this is what guys you can do that people might ask you this time uh, these kind of question at time of interview as well and accordingly you can do that so I simply make it make it back to circular only okay so that's all for this particular video guys I hope you liked it in the next video I'll tell you uh, how to uh, generate the load so far what exactly we are using we are using only one user in the next session 
uh, I'll tell you how can we generate the load ramp up ramp up period and other different scenarios with respect to load uh, handling we will do that okay thank you so much guys thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any issues till then take care and god bless you all